Hi everyone, it's Bit here, and today I have another Swirly Do's tutorial for you. Today I'm creating this beach themed layout using the mediums add on kit that came in the July 2016 kit. So here's what came in the um, mediums add-on kit for July. It was some of the Finnabar um, texture brushes. You get a pack of three and these are the larger size brushes. You also get some of the Finnabar um, acrylic paint. This one's Opal Magic in blue gold. There is a Tim Holtz Distress Stain in Walnut Stain. And also this 12 by 12 piece of plywood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a thicker layer and I want the plywood as my ba as my backing to help stabilize it. So although I won't be directly using the plywood, I'm using it so I can make a really heavy duty layer. So what I've done here is I've got some corrugated cardboard and I've just cut that to 12 by 12 as well. And then I've given it a coat of white gesso. So once your white gesso is dry, I've gone over this with the... Um, about acrylic paint. Now this paint is quite cool. If you put it on white it gives this lovely blue look and if you put it on black you get more of a gold tone. The next thing I'm doing is I'm using the Tim Holtz Distress Stain just to go over lightly so the kind of the bumps in the corrugated cardboard kind of show up more. It gives the blue in the background and a little brown on top. So to back my photo, I'm using the Kaisercraft um, paper that came in the main kit. And um, I'm just cutting this to size to back my photo on. And then I'm going to adhere it with some double-sided tape. I didn't actually manage to get this on straight, so I'm just going to straighten up my paper with my scissors. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of the Kayser Craft paper. This is the provincial paper that was in the, um, the July kit. And I'm just going to tear some so I have a section across the middle. So I'm just kind of um, putting my photo on to see how big I want the piece. And then I decide to layer the back side of that paper onto it. So I have a couple of like, distressed layers there. So do that to both sides and then just fix up the tears if, um, if you don't like how they're sitting. So once I've done this I'm going to adhere it with some more double sided tape. Um, you can use glue but um, if you want but my tape is quite, actually quite strong so it holds very very well. So once I've adhered this I've decided to put a little bit of texture on the background. And I'm using the Prima Bubble Stencil with some um, white texture paste. To make my texture paste, I, I like it really white when it's finished. So I mix a bit of heavy gesso with my, text, um, my modeling paste so it stays white. Next thing I'm doing is I'm taking the um, Atlas Ribbon. This came in the embellishment add-on kit this month. And I've just put it onto the page in a kind of random way. I didn't want it straight. The next thing I'm taking is the um, the sewing bobbin that came in the project add-on kit for July. And this is mainly why I wanted this hard plywood as my background because this bobbin is really big and it's too big to put on a general page. But with the wood backing it really helps keep it stable. And all I'm doing here is I've got some um, seam binding. It's um, blue, light blue and white and I'm just putting that around my bobbin with some double sided tape. And then I've taken one of the brown craft doilies from Peterloo that were in the main kit for July and I've just popped that behind my photo and propping my photo up with a bit of cardboard. I like putting cardboard behind my photos to give the photo extra depth and plus it needed to be propped up having that 
pet sewing bobbin beside it. It was very large. So I'm just gluing that on with some bits of my ribbon. And then I'm just adding extra to the other side, just tucking it under the photo. I don't want this to be straight or even in any way, so I'm just kind of adding random bits. I've added a couple more to the other side of the page just to make it kind of fill it out a little bit. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking some kind of beaded string. I had this in my stash at home and I just thought the colours went nicely with it. I just needed something extra. So I'm just cutting off pieces and kind of tucking it in here and there. This doesn't really like to sit very straight so it's it's good to have it in kind of a, a random fashion. So now I'm taking some of the flowers that have been um, left over from the July kit. These are mainly from the flower embellishment add-on. So there's some of those petaloo flowers there, the brown craft ones. And I've kept one hole and I've cut the other one in half just so it gives some extra space. If you're going to put a flower behind something, sometimes it's easier to cut the other side off that would have been hiding and you get extra flower to use. Next I'm adding some of the Prima um, Salvage District flowers that were also in the flower add-on kit. And also some of the small petaloo blooms that were in the flower add-on kit. From my own stash, I'm adding um, a couple of blue roses. And um, some white cherry blossoms. Um, I'm also adding one of the Kaisercraft embroidered badges that came in the embellishment add-on kit. And I've just cut that in half again because it was going to be hiding half underneath there anyway. So I wanted to, to maximise the use on that one. And then I thought that other side needed a bit more of the bead so I added another little piece on. Okay, next I'm taking the um, kind of the adhesive ribbon tape that came in the main kit for July and I'm just pressing little pieces of it um, kind of around my layout just to give a bit more interest and texture to the background. Next I'm adding a few shells. Um, these shells you can, well I can buy them from a craft store or I actually bought these ones from some markets. Otherwise if you live near a beach you could go and find your own. Um, these are mainly just little white shells, brown shells. And I'm just tucking them in amongst my flowers. Okay, next I have some starfish. Um, I did have starfish a long time ago, but it turns out my dog liked to eat them, so she ate my starfish, and so it's been a while to find some more, but I was lucky enough to be at some markets a few weeks ago where they were selling these ones. So they're very cute, and they um, just give it that real beachy look.
and all I needed um, to finish my layout was a title and so I've used the Kesa Crafts Storybook collectibles that came in the embellishment add-on kit and I've taken the little word love I'm just cutting out the circles because there was a white border around it which I didn't I didn't want the white so I'm just cutting off the white and um, gluing these onto the bottom of my photo and that is my layout done so thank you for watching and if you would like to purchase your own kit make sure you head to swirlydoos.com and subscribe you can get a monthly kit sent to your house every month and also remember to join us on the forums and the Swirly Do's Gallery Facebook page. Thank you for watching. Bye.